what's up guys so today I'll be teaching you guys how to put together a profile mini cassette hub as you can see this has nothing inside of it so I'll be putting everything back in here I snapped my axle from doing a feeble stall on like a ledge like literally two feet high so it just snapped but it lasted about three years so I think that's pretty good and I got another axle to replace everything and the hubs are actually pretty good I mean it's the only reason why I'm sticking with Profile, and this hub looks completely like untouched. So really an axle is all that was needed. Let's go over how to put this hub together. So this is how everything fits inside of the mini hub. You have the axle in the middle, you have the longer side of the axle, which takes the driver, the bearing, and that shim piece is very important in between that bearing and driver. Then you have your lock washers at the end, then you have your cone washer over here. In my case, I'm using a hub guard. And yeah, let's get to building. So I put grease all over the axle, just put grease all around it. This way, the installation of the bearings and everything should be easier and your bike will last you, well, your hub will last you a while. Okay, so I got the bearing in. This fits perfectly around the bearing. I'm just gonna hit it inside of the hub. I hit the bearing inside the hub. Looks nice and flush in there. Now I'm gonna take the axle, put it inside of the hub. The longer side of the axle is gonna to go towards the large flange on the cassette hub. Cause that's where the driver is. So you just basically put that in. It should come through like that. And then you just wanna hit this in. You wanna make sure everything is straight and you can start hitting the axle in. I have a rubber mallet so I don't damage anything. So once everything is in, it should look like that. And the axle should be seated in the bearing. Now you wanna apply grease onto the other side and just get grease inside of the actual flange. Take your finger, kinda of just go around it. Um, you wanna take the grease, put it on your other hub. I mean, take the grease, put it on your other bearing. and then just go around it. And then you wanna put that on this side. So now I'm just gonna take the socket that fits perfectly around this bearings ring. I'm just gonna hit that in. So now both bearings are in, but now we have to install all the other components. So you would have a comb washer and what you would do with this comb washer, you would just kind of slide it onto the hub like that. And then you would put the lock nut right on that side. In my case, I'm gonna put on a hub guard, which is highly recommended if you're gonna be grinding, riding street. I would also recommend getting the profile one because it fits perfectly with the, uh, with the hub itself. So you won't really come into much uh, trouble just getting the one that's made for the hub, which is always better than getting something that's not made for the specific part you have. You install your hub guard or your comb washer, um, and then you want to get your lock nut. And the lock nut has a tiny groove in it, and you want that tiny groove facing towards the, uh, towards the hub guard, and you have like a flat side to the non-drive side lock nut. You want the flat side facing out and just screw everything inside. So it should look something like that. Nice flush. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the shim, slide it on. If you want your hub to sound louder, you would pretty much just clean out the grease inside and have like a nice thin layer of grease left. And this way your hub will be nice and loud. And uh, at the skate park, you know, you'd be tad, like a tad cooler than everybody else. So if you want to do that, go right ahead. Just make sure you have at least some thin grease inside. So you're going to put your driver in. You want to even put grease on your driver on the bearing areas. So this way the bearings, nothing happens. And if you want, you could just kind of clean out whatever grease is left. 
if you obviously, you know, don't like running grease for that super loud, cool profile sound. Now I'm going to put the driver inside of the hub and I'm just going to give it like a twist. It should kind of just fall into place like so. Now it's in. As you can see, there's still a little bit of a, like an edge here. So we're going to take our drive side lock nut and screw this in. It's always good to have grease. The more grease you have on your parts, the longer they'll last. Now this is the final step is where you want to pretty much compress everything using the two lock nuts on the side. So I have an adjustable wrench on this side and I have a 22 millimeter socket on the other. They're both 22 millimeters for the lock nuts. Um, so pretty much you would just want to tighten everything down and make sure everything is nice and compressed. You're pretty much compressing everything inside of the hub so everything is a nice snug fit. You don't want to tighten it too much, but you want to tighten it a decent amount. And then you just... And then once you're done tightening it, you want to kind of back off the drive side nut a little bit. So once everything is nice and compressed, uh, your wheels should run smoothly and uh, it shouldn't have any resistance at all while it's spinning so you want to make sure that your wheel is running smoothly and it has no resistance and that means you're done your hub is perfectly good Sounds nice. So I made this video because no one really goes over how to like put a profile hub together. There is videos on how to put a profile hub together within the factory, but I wanted to make it so you can put a hub together at home. It's always good to make sure that your hub that your hub is running smooth because if it has you know a slight like like resistance, if there's any resistance on your hub or anything when you spin it. That's not really a good sign. So as long as everything runs smooth, which it most likely should be smooth. And uh, yeah, that's really the reason why I made this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, um, tell me ways I can improve my videos, whatever you guys want, feel free. And uh, thanks for watching.